Green Green Farm, we've arrived. It's so vibrant. Is this the first time you've seen a site like this on Peru? This planet has much natural beauty such as this. But it was all artificially created after the 500 year race war destroyed the planet's own natural beauty. It's all manufactured. lawlessness of true nature exceeds what you can see or imagine here. But the labor required to turn desolation into this beauty is no small feat. I have to tip my hat to the castes. Domestic Koltova are raised here. Not so long ago, the Koltova here were infected and altered by the seed. I was one of the people responsible for carrying out that purification. They say there's a possibility that the infected Koltova are from other places where purification was incomplete. At any rate, if we don't completely purify the area, the damage will only spread. Now, we were supposed to meet the client here. She sure is running late. Guardians! You're guardians, right? You Kalam! We've met before. This child's guardian, Nofe, is our client. But where is she? I... I can't seem to get in contact with my mom! Your mom? The cast, Rimley and Nofe. She's my mom now. Is that so? Well, where was your mom headed? To the very end of the farm. When the monsters came, she went out to block the road to protect our cultiva. But I lost contact with her. It appears we need to hurry. His mom. <laughs> that boy has really grown up. Do you know him? This farm was run by Kalam's parents. But both of them were killed in an accident when the seed first arrived. Then the farm's domestic Koltova were infected and altered by the seed. I met Kalam during my mission to purify them. I see.
son had just lost his parents and he was withdrawing into himself. He wouldn't let Norfei near him and she had just become his guardian. Why would he do such a thing? Because Norfei was a caste. Castes are a race that think logically and coldly, or so Kalam had convinced himself. But Norfei eventually managed to convey to him that she would protect him. And now Kalam calls her his mom. We have to protect those two, and this land. Let's hurry. It seems we're facing an unforeseen amount of purification. Native creatures here are infected by the sea. It seems that purification really wasn't complete after all. By purification, do you mean the de It might be a little misleading. All we can do is destroy them and prevent the infection from spreading further. Oh, please wait. I'm reading a distress call. It appears to be from Remley and Norfei. Do you have a location? Yes, I will take us there. I can rest a little easier just knowing where she is. Let's hurry. Understood.
Luffy, are you all right? Guardians, you came for me. It's all right now, but Kalam is worried about you. He's safe then. Thank you. Why didn't you wait for us to arrive? The altered creatures weren't just on the farm. They had started to come into residential areas. I had to do whatever I could before it was too late. You should have known how dangerous that decision was. Even so, I couldn't stand by and do nothing. Even if I'm damaged, I can be repaired to a point. But Kalam can't. I have to protect him. That sounds reasonable. It's certainly a cast-like way to look at things. But a cast with sympathy for another race? Doesn't that go against the idea of caste superiority? Caste supremacy is the call of self-involved castes with no interest in other races. Kalam is very important to me. an abstract expression, but I sense it is appropriate. If it's for Kalam's sake, then I'm not afraid to lose myself. I know it's contradictory to say I want to protect him even if I lose myself, but that is how I feel. A cast who feels love for one of another race. I need to do some error correction concerning my image of casts. Anyhow, that completes this rescue mission. We have accomplished some purification, but I think we should investigate into the next area. But we need to transport Norfei back to Kalam. I'll take responsibility for getting Norfei back to Kalam. Should we inform the Alliance military about the inadequate purification? No, we can't determine that just yet. First, we should finish our mission and report back to headquarters. You two be careful.
is the last of the farm areas. Once this area is purified, our mission is... But I find it hard to understand Norfei and Kalmam's relationship. What do you think? Just because I'm a cast, that makes me feel better. In any case, I've come up with a word for their relationship. They have a bond. It's a word that implies many things, but I think it really fits. Well, we aren't done yet. Let's go. Are you okay? You look all right. Let's rendezvous with Hyuga. Nicely done. The most important thing is that you made it back safely. I can't believe so many infected native creatures were able to escape purification before. Their numbers were certainly unexpected, but at least the farm is safe now. Norfei and Kalam can live without worry. Guardians, thank you so very much. Kalam, say thank you to the nice guardians. Hmm. Kalam? Leave me alone! Kalam, everyone worked so hard to save the farm. <laughs> I was more worried about you, Mom! How could you just leave me and run off to such a dangerous place like that? What if you... What would I do? Kalam? I'm sorry, Kalam. I was wrong. I won't ever leave you alone again. I promise. Thank you. Uh, Bond. Well, 
Shall we be going now? Yes. Hello, we're back. Ah, Hyuga! I was waiting for you. Nice work with the Peru mission. Headmaster, we identified life forms infected by the seed at Green Green Farm. They appear to have spread from a region the Alliance military were in charge of purifying. Hmm. There haven't been any reports of large-scale seed attacks since purification was completed. This incident might just be the tip of the iceberg. On this mission, we only carried out purification at the assigned site. We can't ignore the possibility that other altered creatures could exist. We hope that you'll inform the Alliance military. It won't be easy talking to the Alliance military about this. They did some heavy firebombing, and I don't think they'll easily accept that they could have missed something. Yes, but it's clear that the seed are there now. <clears throat> Lou, connect me to Captain Fulian Kurtz of the Alliance military. Yes, sir. <laughs> Seventy-seventh unit of the Alliance military. Luke M. Nav of the Guardians here. We worked together to suppress the seed some time ago. What business do you have with the Alliance military? You were previously in charge of seed purification at Parum's Rafon Meadow, I believe. On a recent Guardian's mission, we identified seed-infected native creatures originating in that region. That is unlikely. That area was burned until there were no life readings from any life forms, seed-infected or not. The seed, however, are there. And what's more, they're expanding and attacking civilians. <laughs> we didn't miss anything. However, I'll acknowledge that some unknown element is affecting the native creatures. We will conduct an investigation into the cause. Understood. Only a few Guardians know about this. We have classified this matter and hope you see to it that information isn't needlessly released. I understand. We will endeavor not to worry the populace. I trust that is all. Yes. He wished to absolve the Alliance military of any fault. Did he not seem quite arrogant? Hmm? You seem to be immune to the caste superiority complex. That could be a good thing, but it also seems like instead you've got animosity towards castes. Am I right? It is exactly as you've said. Prejudice isn't fair or just. I think Kurtz was very fair just now. He didn't blame us, and he will investigate the matter. I don't think he was being arrogant. That's right. Kurtz is a fine man. At first, he was haughty and looked down on me like certain castes do. But during the fight against the Seed, he showed how devoted he was to protecting the Goral system. Everyone has their own position, Viv. If Kurtz acknowledges a mistake, it reflects on the entire Alliance military. His response 
can't really be helped. I... I understand. I was the prejudiced one. But there is still something that bothers me. I can understand, but something still remains in my head. Those are emotions. They will play tricks on you. They slow you down. Bias your... Oh. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't say it, but Vivian, you are quite uncast-like. Am I? But there are casts like Headmaster Nav and Lou as well. Just give yourself another hundred years or so to get used to it, Vivian. Now... Where do we go from here? Lou, the confidentiality agreement, if you would. Yes, sir. Everyone, please sign this. Confidentiality? That's right. Information about the remaining seed is to be kept top secret. I don't even want other Guardians to know about this situation. The people of Garal believe the seed are gone for good. If the truth gets out, we'll have a system-wide panic. We need to control the situation. All of you, as of now, I'm transferring you to the Investigations Unit. You two are the most deeply involved, after all. It'll be tough work but you'll be investigating as an elite anti-seed force. Don't forget, this is all classified. You alone will be protecting the future of Garal. I'll contact you again when we have another classified mission. Until then, you may continue to accept missions. That's it for today. You better get some rest. Vivian, if you're ever free, would you care to accompany me to a movie? Yes, Hyuga, that would be fine. But only if he can go, too. Uh, a chaperone, then. Well played, friend. Well, I shall take my leave here. Goodbye. Well, Hyuga, we will be going now. Thank you for all your help on the mission.
Welcome, welcome. Uh, take a look around. Is that you, Vivian? And... Maya! Hello! How are you today? Not bad, not bad. But how about you? How are you coming along? I am doing well. Huh. I'm starting to wonder if we can trust your assessments. If you keep pampering your partner, you could stunt her development. You've got to be stricter. 
I feel that I've certainly come a long way in combat, though. That kind of thinking breeds negligence, I'd say. Cats don't hatch from eggs, and my coating isn't yellow. <laughs> See? This is what I mean. It's just an expression. Oh, I see. Someone inexperienced is like a yellow chick. There you go. You've got a lot to learn, Chicky.